Hey y'all and welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Rhonda Morrison and today on Shape Up Sugarland's Healthy Mondays Dining In segment, I am thinking about travel. I'm thinking about road trips. I love road trips. I've been on several this summer already and I'll probably take ooh two or three more. And I've noticed that whenever I'm out on road trips, feeding my crew can get quite expensive. I've spent up to 30 bucks at Burger King for four people, and that's just a bit much for me to know that I'm not giving them my best from my kitchen. So today I've got some chickpeas that I've already rinsed and drained, and I mashed them up with this fork here, and I'm going to make a salad. And the base of this salad is similar to a tuna salad. But I am using chickpeas because I prefer to travel with chickpeas over tuna fish. That's just me. So I'm going to start out by adding three tablespoons of light mayo, just like that. Then I'm going to add three teaspoons of spicy brown mustard. I'm from Louisiana, so I use Zatarin's. One, two, three. There we go. And then I'm going to add two tablespoons of finely chopped up red onion. And then a tablespoon of my sweet relish, just like I would in my tuna salad. Quarter teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of pepper. And I'm just going to give that a stir in the middle just to make my paste and incorporate in from there my chickpeas. Kind of like you were making pasta. You know, you put the eggs in the middle of the flour and then you work it in. Well, that's what I'm doing with this. And so I stir all that up. Now, at this point, once you get this combined, you can put this in a disposable container and you just load it on up into your ice chest with your lettuce and your tomatoes. I have eight uh, pieces of lettuce, leafy green lettuce right there. And then I've got eight slices of thick tomato. Let me show that to you. All you do is put that in a Ziploc bag on the side. And the reason why you want your tomatoes and your salad on the side and not all loaded up in your pita is if it's three hours down the road before you find the picnic table that you want, your pita can get soggy and pitas are thin and they're a little delicate and I don't want it to get soggy on you. Shoot, I don't want it to get soggy on my family. One bite and it's in there laughing. That doesn't make for a fabulous road trip. So we're going to do it this way. Now I've got this all combined. And the pitas is just one part of this recipe. Eight pitas, uh, four pitas make eight halves and it feeds four people. Trust me, you're not going to go hungry. So here we have our blender. I'm going to make some smoothies to go along with it. We need to beat this heat, y'all. So in goes my yogurt. This is some Greek yogurt right here. And look how quick this is. And the amount of time that you would spend waiting in line at Burger King, you decided what everybody wants, in that same amount of time, you can make something that is healthy and nutritious for your family on the road. This meal weighs in, by the way, under 400 calories per person. So that's something else. You're sitting in a car, you don't want to be bogged down with carbohydrates and fat. So in goes the rest of this. And I'm going to pour my uh, apple juice on top that's going to bring my sweet. And I'm going to put in my little half teaspoon of vanilla because it is plain Greek yogurt. And in goes my apple juice. Just like that. Get my little slider up. I'm going to blend this up, y'all, and I'll see you back in a second. All right, my smoothie's done, y'all, and I named it the 1-2-3 smoothie because I got one cup of yogurt, 
two cups of juice and three cups of frozen berries and here we go oh that's so good and it so beats the heat your family will love it just pop this in your cooler when you're ready take out your disposable cups pour it up you're good to go all right let's come back to our salad over here I've got my pitas and I want to show y'all how to do this this is just a preparated pita get the preparated kind it's all right I cheat and just cut down the middle in half you want a small pita come down with the back side of your knife to gently pry it open and that's how I like to open my pita then I'm going to grab one slice of lettuce I'm going to grab one slice of tomato and then I'm going to pile on top of that tomato some of my chickpea salad just like that now everybody gets two so just remember if you only eat half you're saving even more calories so let's give it a taste see how we did mmm that's fabulous you've taken care of your whole family you've taken care of you know your health your your sodium content your calories you can drive the rest of your trip in comfort without being hungry and knowing that everybody has had a wonderful meal from your heart and from your home thank you all for joining me again this is Rhonda Morrison and y'all come back and see me next week I've got some more tricks up my sleeve I'd love to share them with you